Josie here. Um, just wanted to jump in and explain how this video is going to work. So basically, um, it's a two-part video. The first part is me reacting to the My My Music video and having a great old time. And the second part is Lori giving a review of the song, lyrics, uh, styling, and the overall aesthetics of the music video. And just giving a good perspective um, as an OG carrot on this new comeback and her thoughts and all that stuff. So if you're not a fan of reaction videos, feel free to skip forward to the three minute mark. That's where that switches over. Otherwise, stick around and we're gonna start right now. Yes, flannel. Or plaid. Whatever you call it. Oh, there's his jam. It's an interesting looking place to store jam. What is, what is happening? <laughs> Wait. Just casually running with some jam. Get it, DK. Ooh! Slap in the face of visuals! Ooh! Was not prepared. Ooh! That was a good hook. Woozy! Get it! You sit on top of that camera van like a cool kid! Oh! Everyone's doing it. It's a trend. Aw, June! <laughs> That's so cute. Just casually in a flying boat, as you do. Come on. Hello. Joshua. Oh, that was. <laughs> <laughs> They're here! <laughs> the true stars of the show, honestly. Aww, look at them. Look at them, they're chilling. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> this is a fun dance. <laughs> it's a lot of arm work. We stand. Aww. <laughs> yeah, you rode that boat. <laughs> it's a good sway and snap song. What's happening over there? <laughs> In the corner. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting some great summer songs recently and I am I'm here for it. We need to revive summer of 2020. We need to fix this. <laughs> Don't go watch this like 20 more times now. Okay. Bye. Hey guys. So today I'm going to be doing a review of Seventeen's My My. So I'm going to go over... Um, Five things that initially caught my eye uh, when I was watching the video, um, kind of like what stood out to me the most, and then I'll go over a few categories. So there, the song itself, um, the styling, and then the music video, kind of like aesthetics. Um, yeah, there wasn't really much choreo in there, so I can't really go over that. But I am excited to see what it looks like when they do live stages of this. And yeah, so let's get started. The first thing that caught my eye is, um, well, I'm very biased towards Joshua. <laughs> um, so his first little opening line that he did, I was like, oh yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, the second thing was DK's first line when he was like laying in the hammock there and he had this little run. Oh, gave me chills. The third thing, when Woozy came out and started singing, I was like, oh, he slayed. Mm -hmm. 
And then the next thing I saw that really stood out to me was Sun Kwan was just glowing. I love him so much. He's so great. Um, and then the next thing was the little like dance that they all did at the end around the pool. I thought that was just adorable and it made me really excited to see what the whole choreography is going to look like. So, um, But yeah, let's get into just the overall song and what I thought of that. What I liked is that it, it really, Seventeen has a way of like making you really feel emotions that their the song itself is trying to convey so I thought like the whole time I was watching it I just felt like I was on vacation so like when they were camping it's like I felt like oh this is a song that I could listen to around the campfire with my friends or like if I could be like out on a boat or by the beach somewhere like this is the kind of song that you would play like maybe when you're on the road trip to get to where you're going like that's just what I felt like it was like a great way to start summer is by listening to this song um, I also thought the hook for the chorus was, like, really good. It was really catchy. Uh, I thought it was... So it, like, gets stuck in your head really easily. That was a good hook. So a lot of these songs, like, you have with Seventeen, they'll have, like, really strong, powerful vocals. Like, you'll have stuff in Monse or Clap or Fear. Um, like, they have, like, really high notes, really powerful notes. But this one, like, they had a few, but it wasn't really as prominent. But I think that's okay, because this is, like, just kind of, like, their warm-up song. And I think it's better that they have more of just, like, a, a nice, relaxed kind of vibe to it. Like, a happy vibe. Uh, I think that was much better suited. Uh, also, I thought the lyrics, man. The lyrics to the song, I think that's what makes it even better. When I first watched it with the subtitles, I was like, well, this is like, this is such a good message. And it, it really resonated with me too. It's like going at your own pace, like get, like your dreams are there and you're going to make it there someday. But like, it's okay like if you get held back or if you have to take some more time. Um, so I'm getting a little personal here. I struggle with, um, autoimmune disorders so I have like a lot of chronic pain and things and that's kind of put my life on pause for a little bit like where I want to go so I was after I graduated college I was like oh like how am, how am I going to continue on um, and get where I want to go because like physically I wasn't in a good place and it took me like I'm still going through it now it's been a couple of years and I'm still kind of struggling like trying to get where I want to go, but then, so you, you see the message in the song and it's like, you know, it's okay. It's okay if you, if you need to take a little time, like you'll get there. You'll get there as long as like you keep working towards it at your own pace. Um, it kind of actually reminded me of the message of Stray Kids songs, My Pace. Uh, I thought that there needs to be more songs that have that message. So I thought that was really great. So we'll go on to the styling next. Um, the first thing I have written down is that yellow is DK's color. He looked so good in that. Uh, it was like, whew, it was great. Also, Wanu, he, his hair looks great. I thought there was like some debate online about whether, about his haircut or whatever, and he said he did it because he wanted to. I think he made the right decision. It looks really good on him. Um, also, the, the white shirts that they wore while they were all on the boat, uh, I thought that was really suited everyone it was like like a classy laid-back like sailor kind of thing it was really nice um and just the summer outfits themselves like Vernon had his flannel uh, Jonghan had that orange sweater it all just set the mood of what they were wearing and I really hope they do like a few different live stages for this because I'd really like to see all of the stage outfits I think the only thing that I didn't like was um that visor that they put on S Coops, I was like, really? You couldn't have put like a like a bucket hat on him or something because his hair like kind of stood up. Like it was it was kind of cute because it kind of went with the alpaca, but I wasn't really feeling it a ton. But the rest of it was all perfect. Like they all looked really good. Now on to just the aesthetics of the music video itself. So I thought the concept was really unique. Like it's not really something that you see a lot in K-pop. Uh, so first, like, the camping, like, I was like, oh yeah, like, 
you've kind of seen this stuff before, like there's been all kinds of summer concepts, but then they're on a boat, and they're not just on a boat, they're on a boat in the sky. And I was like, what? What? But then it also kind of like ties into some of their other music videos, like you can see people on Twitter and stuff like putting it together, and I thought it was really cool, like they're just sailing onto their dreams in the sky. Also you could just tell that everyone was really having fun. That was, that was, you could just see like their smiles and how much fun they were having and that it was just a song that they, they really enjoyed making. Uh, next I just have alpacas, like, yes, can we have more alpacas in K-pop music videos please? Uh, or just animals in general. Yeah, that was a good decision. And Jam. It was great. And the Jam sings. Yeah. They have jams. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I think it was a very fun concept. And I, I just, I thought it was, it was cool. It was, it was a, a good warm up, a good teaser. Um, I'm very excited to see what the rest of the album has, and just kind of get like a, a nice summer comeback from Seventeen, you know, it's been a while. I thought Fear was great, but now it's time to get that Seventeen youthful summer sound back. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Stream Seventeen! My my! Let's go! <laughs>